another look at this, many, this morning's main news stories. Seven Israelis were shot and killed in the Sinai Desert yesterday. Two children were wounded and their brother killed in the attack. Also killed a husband, a wife and their child, and three other children from different families. Some of the victims died because of lack of treatment. The wounded were left lying where they fell for several hours. Once again, a look at this evening's headlines. Ofri Gilad Tuel, a 12-year-old girl, one of the seven victims, who was buried next to her father, killed in Sinai in the Yom Kippur War. And Chaim Fala, who was killed near Kibbutz Sarid on Friday, was also buried today. <laughs> יחיה במדינה דמוקרטית, אבל אני אשים עליהם שלטון של כוח. ושלטון של כוח זה לא דמוקרטיה. אם אתה שם להם שלטון שהוא שלטון צבאי, שמגביל אותם ונותן להם כל צעד, למה הם לא בני אדם? אתה בן אדם? אתה יודע מה אתה עושה עכשיו? תראה, תראה מה הם עושים. אתה עושה מה שעשה היטלר, אמר, מי שאין לו עיניים כחולות, אין לו שיער בלונדיני, הוא לא בן אדם. אז אנחנו אומרים, מי שלא יהודי, לא בן אדם. למה? הנה, תראה, זה לא נכון. כמה ערבים עוברים פה עם מכוניות? וכמה יהודים עוברים עם מכוניות? עכשיו, אם אני עובר בבית לחם, אני מגבל מטר אבנים. מתי? אתה רוצה עכשיו לעשות איתי ספורט? בוא נראה בבית לחם. למה פה אף אחד לא כבש אותך בבית לחם, כבשו אותם, בגלל זה אתה פוחד לנסוע. אתה יודע למה כבשנו אותם? למה? כי הם רצו לשחוט אותנו. אנחנו מצאנו את התוכניות. This is the 20th year of Israel's military rule over one and a half million Palestinian Arabs in the territories Israel conquered in the Six-Day War. Call Israel, the voice of Israel, Jerusalem. Everyday life in Israel, where Jews form the vast majority of the population, is now often disrupted by the occupation. Jewish civilians are vulnerable inside Israel. The search for Edna Harari and Moshe Suisa continues in the Judean hills and Judean desert. The two failed to return from a hike near Mavor Beitar in the Judean hills. The chief rabbis have given observant volunteers permission to participate in the search on the Sabbath. A group of religious volunteers is organizing transport tomorrow at 5 in the morning. הוא ייקח ויוריד אתכם לשטח. אני אביא את העלים, אנחנו נתפצל לחנות קטנות וקשר עין, נשק, לא פותחים באש ולא הרואה שלי. אלא הם פוגעים בך ויורים לכיוון שלך. הבחור הזה שעכשיו היום אני מחפש, אני מכיר אותו מילדות. צר לי שאנחנו מגיעים לאירוע כזה שאנחנו צריכים לחפש בכל מיני מקומות. וכמו שאמרתי לך קודם, אני במתח. אני במתח אה, שלא יראה מחזה לא נעים, ואני מקווה שבמשך היום אה, אני אקבל בשורה טובה שנמצאו חיים בריאים ושלמים. אני לא מקבל את זה שצריך אה, חלילה להתחיל אה, לתסוס או לשנוא ערבים. כמו שישנם גורמים קיצוניים בערבים, כך ישנם גורמים קיצוניים גם ביהודים. הבעיה הפלסטינאית היא נפלה עלינו, נפלה על כל העולם, ובמיוחד על העם היהודי, ואנחנו צריכים לפתור אותה. לפתור אותה בדרכי שלום ועל כוס קפה. תמיד הייתי מוכן בהסכם של המערך הפשרה הטריטוריאלית, של החזרת שטחים בעד שלום, החזרת, לא החזרת השטחים, אלא החזרת... שטחים. תגיע להסכם שלום, שארץ ישראל תישאר שלמה, נעשה הסכם שלום איך שהם רוצים. מה עם מקום מיוחד לעם הפלסטיני? אני יודע מה, ירדן וסעודיה ועמאן וסיני ותוניס, איפה שהם נמצאים. אבל מה אתה אומר לחבר שאומר שבלי מקום בגדה לפלסטינים לא יגמור הרצחים האלה, הלאומות? אם תיתן להם את הגדה, הם ירצו אחר כך את הבית שלי במושב עגור גם כן. אני גם בעירה גרתי עם אנשים בשלום ועם ערבים בשלום, אבל תמיד עשו לנו צרות. גם פה עושים צרות, גם שם עושים צרות, המקום שלהם זה לא בארץ ישראל. אנחנו אנשי עדות המזרח מכירים בדיוק את הערבים ויודעים מי הם ומאיזה חומר הם עשויים. וכל מה שתיתן להם וכל מה שהם רוצים לא מספיק להם. והיו חיפושים שמצאנו אנשים חיים. אבל אחרי שלושה ימים של חיפושים המצב קצת לא טוב לגבי אותם אנשים. אתה מוכן לחכות לדורות עד שיגמור האלימות? 
אה, אצלנו אין אלימות ברוך השם. אם איזה אחד, שתיים זורק אבנים, זה לא אלימות. גם באחד או בשתיים האלה יטפלו באיזשהו מקום. The funeral took place today of Mordechai Suisa and Edna Harari, who were killed by terrorists in the Judean hills early this week. The coordinator of activities in the territory and emphasized that the government has no wish to make life difficult for residents of the territories, but because of the recent terrorist acts, limitations on trade and studies would be imposed. <laughs> Israel is a far less violent society than it might seem. But these random attacks on Jewish civilians by Palestinian terrorists fracture Israelis' sense of personal security. Reprisals come quickly. Palestinian Arabs from the West Bank, who happened to pass this village just before the funeral, were attacked. The car was burned and they fled through the fields. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, as a Palestinian living here, I have to deal with the occupation. I have to deal with the denial of human rights as well as of national rights of Palestinians. Whether it's in Jerusalem itself here where we are considered residents but not citizens. Uh, or in the West Bank where uh, there is even less pretense about uh, democracy or freedoms or liberties. I try uh, to look for hope among Israelis who I am sure would not want to face the reality of the injustice. But it requires a lot of work to strip away all the pretenses and to present an obvious evil that cannot be justified, not even on the grounds of security. For young Israeli soldiers, the occupied territories are hard facts of life they've grown up with. Older Palestinians can recall periods of Jordanian and Egyptian rule, which were also oppressive. But for young Palestinians, there is no comfort to be drawn from such comparisons. Israeli rule is all they know. Uh, we conquered this land during the war, and uh, in the Bible it says that this is our land, we feel this is our land. If the Arabs want to live here, fine, they can live here, but under our jurisdiction. They can continue to live here, but not uh, to establish a uh, country. You can find uh, so much uh, country in the world that has uh, another people, not the original people. It's not a reason to establish a country. Next to Arab Hebron, Kiryat Arba, the first Jewish settlement in the occupied territories, now one of 116 Jewish settlements spread throughout the territories. The Settlements Council has now declared their plan to resist forcibly any Israeli government attempting to return territories in exchange for peace. Kiryat Arba settlers, permitted to carry weapons for self-defense, have their own gun factory. Foreign Minister Yitzhak Shamir says Israel should not give up territory in exchange for peace. Speaking in Tel Aviv on the 105th anniversary of the birth of Zeev Jabotinsky, Shamir said the slogan, Land for Peace, is illogical, and this country has had enough experience in the past to show that this is the case. Security forces imposed a curfew and arrested suspects in Judea and Samaria yesterday, where there were more disturbances. A two-hour curfew was imposed on part of Ramallah after a firebomb was thrown at a pub.
parked Israeli car. Curfews were also imposed on three other villages where Israeli vehicles were pelted with rocks. The stance of total rejectionism, defiant violence against Israelis, isn't the only way to resist occupation. Raja Shahada, a Palestinian lawyer, wrote, between mute submission and blind hatred, I choose the third way. You don't know what it means not to have an identity card under occupation. I mean, you're lost. You can be in prison for days and months. They were asking youngsters and old people to dance, to get back their identity card. People to dance in the middle of the road. Old people were ordered to dance, youngsters at the gates of the university also were made to dance and if they didn't they wouldn't get back their identity card and they were ordering young children to open their bookcases throw them on the floor and then the soldiers would rummage with their boots kick the boys and the girls order them to pick up their books again i thought that was not only brutal but it was unnecessary brutality it's creating hatred animosity amongst the new generation. I left to the because I didn't want to work in the Russians. I didn't feel like I wanted to the the אני לא חושב שאנחנו יושבים פה, זה מגן על ישראל. אני חושב שזה עושה בדיוק את ההפך. Palestinian Mary Cass maintains a rare friendship with Israelis, including Ron Karodi. Her chosen role is to communicate the plight of Gazan refugees. The Gaza Strip is intensely crowded, but in Khan Yunis, a Jewish settlement has been built beside a sprawling refugee camp. Remarkably, Mary Cass had been an Israeli citizen until 1970, when she renounced her Israeli status to live and work with Gazan refugees. This is an advanced fence of the settlement. Now more land has been confiscated, and the boys right down there were telling me that this was their football ground. That's where they used to play football for the camp. It just breaks people down to see how people in the settlement have all the luxury and all the possibilities of having re real nice homes and near real nice surroundings on their own behalf when you when you look at the way they live i think that's damaging uh, and that's beside being really frightened i've been talking to some of the people after i saw this new fence and they are frightened we went to the uh, the mayor of the municipality and he told us that he is not responsible for us. We went to UNRWA and UNRWA cannot do anything against the occupation. Who is responsible for us, they say. Why should we be living uh, eight people in one very small room, four by three and a half meters, while people are confiscating the land and getting us out of it even? That's uh, the uh, people say, the young people of this area. So. Throughout their visit to Khan Yunis, Mary Khas and her young Israeli friends were kept under observation by an Israeli army patrol. It's not easy to have to repeat the stories and to have to repeat the incidents about the occupation, showing them the settlements, showing them around, showing them how people live in the camps. It's not easy for me. It is painful because I don't want my people to be like monkeys being looked at, Buildings. yet Buildings. I know the importance of doing it, and, I, and it hurts me, and I know it hurts them. Um, this is the painting. This is the painting, you see, it's in the colors of the Palestinian, of the Palestinian flag, flag, and because of right. paintings like this, uh, Fatri, the that's artist, he, he was arrested right. and held that's for right, yeah, five yeah, months. Right. Uh, because Uneasy with constant observation by army patrols, Mary cut short the visit. Okay, okay, Mike, be seeing you. Okay, bye. Within sight of the Gaza Strip and within sight of the Egyptian border, Kibbutz Kerem Shalom was established in 1968 in the sparsely populated southwestern corner of Israel, in the Negev Desert, where few Arabs lived. Ljudim vle Arabim toshvei Medinat Israel yesh tchut atzba. ולערבים באותם שטחים אין זכות הצבעה, וליהודים שיושבים שם כל מיני מתנחלים כן יש זכות הצבעה, אז האם זה באמת מדינה דמוקרטית? 
אין כיבוש טהור, אין כיבוש נאור. ואנחנו, אני לא רואה את עצמי באיזה מצב אני יכול להתנהג בצורה הרבה יותר טובה. ש... כשאנחנו באים לשם עם רובה ועם מדים ומאיימים על... בעצם בשמירה ובנשק על אותם אנשים שחיים שם, את החיים היומיומיים שלהם. אני חושב שגם אצלי וגם אצלם יש איזה ילד קטן בפנים שרוצה את הכל, רוצה את כל השטחים. והדרך היחידה זה להיות המבוגר ולהבין שאין אפשרות לקחת את הכל, והדרך הנכונה היא לחיות שכנים, בתור שכנים, אחד ליד השני, בשתי מדינות, מדינה ישראלית. ובמדינה פלסטינאית. Tens of thousands of Gazan Arabs commute to Israel daily for agricultural work and menial labor. Here, alongside wealthy homes near Tel Aviv. There is little employment for Gazans near their homes, as economic development of the Gaza Strip is curtailed by Israeli policies. The labor market on the Tel Aviv street. After the news. Security forces have imposed a curfew on part of Gaza's main street. Two soldiers were likely injured there last night in a grenade throwing incident. A number of suspects have been arrested. For many without regular work, this is the routine. Waiting by the roadside, casual day labor. They are barred from staying overnight in Israel. זה אסור לי לדבר על זה. 
towards the Palestinian people. They are jeopardizing their own state by their policy. It's, it's funny, but that's the truth. It's sure. against the Jewish people also and not against the Palestinians alone. Of course I want a Palestinian state. What else do I want? Nothing beyond a Palestinian state. Because if you have been a Palestinian and lived the way we live, you'll understand why we are saying. Jews would understand, cynically enough. Only Jews can understand why we want a state. I am for a Palestinian state precisely because I am Jewish and a Zionist. I came to Zionism inspired by this vision of a new socialist society. Coexistence and brotherhood with the Arab people was one of the major principles. And we really warned ourselves and our people that the state of continuous belligerence and wars and confrontation with the Arab world will strengthen the expansionist militarist ideas of Zionism, and this is unfortunately what happened.
אליהו במרפסות, ושלל כלניות וטבעונים יעלו מתוך ההריסות. Many Israelis celebrated, although they didn't expect the occupation to last. But security concerns, religious pioneers, the Jewish settlers, determined that it would. The 67 war, which was a great success in the minds of many people, I see as probably the worst war we've ever had. If you can consider war as worse and worse, and worse it's just impossible. But in the long run, since the fact that we did not immediately negotiate the returning of the occupied territories for peace, when we could, I believe, is cause, because the leadership believed then that the uh, time is working for us. It's completely wrong. I'm still young enough to change my way of life and probably start a new life elsewhere. And in Israel, Jewish civilians are increasingly the victims of Palestinian terrorism. The cycle of violence and reprisals intensifies. The claim that settling more land is for security has a hollow ring to many Israelis after seven wars. In the center of Tel Aviv, the sign says stolen lands for sale. Israeli Jews with Israeli Arabs protest the occupation. אתם גיס חמישי במדינת ישראל? זה אתם. זה אתם גם כן. זה מדינה שלנו. 
אנחנו כאן גרים עם בעלים ובעלי חיים. כן, תראה איך אתה מדבר. כן, תפקידנו שאלה שמכריזים בקול רם אין אנחנו לאומיים. באותו מובן שהאמירה הזאת מובנת היום. לאומי, פירוש הדבר הזה, גם שרוצה להעלות את המדינה לרמה האלוהית, לכן היא צריכה לשלוט, צריכה לכבוש, צריכה להתפשט. זה היום מושג הלאומיות. Dramatic eruptions of violence, the worsening long-term situation in the occupied territories, lead some soldiers and officers of Israel's citizen army to debate the ethics and politics of serving in the occupied territories. Colonel Mer Pail, ex-member of parliament, military historian, former head of the officers' college, argues for serving there, but refusing certain orders. The case against serving in the territories is made by the controversial professor Yeshayahu Leibovitch, biochemist, renowned Judaic scholar, Orthodox Jew. נוכל לחולל את המהפכה, מפני שהוא ישבור את קסם השקר הזה, כאילו העם במדינה הזאת הוא עם נאצו-פאשיסטי, כפי שהוא נראה אפילו בעיני עצמו היום. קודם כל, נפסיק גם אנחנו להשתמש בשקר הזה כאילו מדינת ישראל היא דמוקרטיה. מדינה מחזיקה מיליון וחצי בני אדם ללא זכויות אזרחיות ופוליטיות. עניין הדמוקרטיה. אין דמוקרטיה לחצאי. כי הטיעון הזה שאסור להפר הוראות ופקודות של... מכיר בסמכות האבסולוטית של שלטון המדיני. אני רחוק רחוק מזרח ומערב מגישה אנרכיסטית, השוללת בכלל סמכות שלטונית. אבל ההכרה בסמכות מוחלטת של שלטון, פירוש הדבר הזה, העלאת השלטון לדרגה אלוהית. אם השלטון של ישראל בגדה המערבית וברצועת עזה יימשך, כבר אפשר לראות בעין. הטרור הערבי יגדל, והטרור היהודי יגדל, ושני העמים יהפכו למטורפים עוד יותר, ובעוד אני חשבתי דור, ייתכן מאוד שזה יהיה הרבה פחות מדור, כל מדינת ישראל תהיה דומה לצפון אירלנד. והמבנה הפוליטי שלה ימשיך לתפקד כמדינה יהודית. זאת אומרת, מבחינת המבנה הפוליטי זה ימשיך להיות דומה לדרום אפריקה. והקומבינציה הזו של צפון אירלנד למטה, 
ודרום אפריקה למעלה זה הדבר הכי נורא שיכול להיות בדור הזה לקראת סוף המאה ה-20 בכלל. והאשם ההיסטורי, הפוליטי והמוסרי והצבאי הוא מדינת ישראל. היא זו שכבשה, היא זו שיכלה לפנות תמורת שלום, הוא הגורם, היא הגורם השליט והיא הגורם החזק. והדרך היחידה ללכת קדימה זה להחזיר את השטחים שכבשנו במלחמת ששת הימים תמורת שלום. זה אפשרי היום. יש כבר אפילו עם מי לדבר. אנחנו משרתים את צבא ההגנה לישראל ואנחנו מסרבים לשרת בצבא הכיבוש לישראל. ובזה יתמוטט כל בניין השקר והאלימות שהוקם כאן בשמונה עשרה שנים אחרונות. גם אם יהיו מיעוט קטן. אם היה מאה אלף, כל מהלך מאורגן גם יועיל. אם שאלפיים, שלושת אלפים, ארבעת אלפים, חמשת אלפים, אתם מזמינים עליכם את מחנות הריכוז. כבר לא יאבקו על שלום. והנבלות האלה של צה"ל ומשמר הגבול, בלעדיכם, צבא של מקצוענים, של שכירים, של סיפוכיסטים, של לאומנים, על פי המשאלי דעת הקהל. הוא ינהל את המעניינים שם. הוא יעזור למנוולים האלה לארגון הטרור. הוא יעורר את העניינים הלוך ועורר. הוא יעודד טרור ערבי. יקומו ועדים. רק משם זה יכול לבוא, יכולה להיות לכם השפעה חיובית. שאתה תשרת בקריית ארבע עשרים, שלושים מנוולים, ואחד או שניים כמוך יחד איתם. מנוולים התכוונתי חבר'ה שהם לא אכפת להם. אם אתה לא תהיה שם, או אני לא אהיה שם, ובמקום זה אני אהיה בכלא שש, או לא, לא, לא יזמנו אותנו, רק המנוולים ישלטו שם. זה המבחן האמיתי של שמאל. לא לברוח מן המציאות הקשה. אלא להיות בה ולעשות מה שאתה יכול לשנות אותה. ואני אומר לכם שמי שיש לו מחשבה פוליטית כן צריך להיות שם. בשביל לבנות סובייטים. כי אם אתם רוצים להשפיע וגם חושבים קצת על כוח, זה הכיוון. לא כיוון אחר. רבותיי, צריך לחשוב כרגע על צעדים דרסטיים שיעצרו את התהליך הזה. לא ש... אין לי שום פתרון ממשי, אבל לדעתי צעד... אקטיבי של סירוב לשרת בשטחים זה התחלה של ניסיון שיהיה בו איזשהו סיכוי לעצור את ההידרדרות. Subsequent to the public debate, some 400 soldiers and officers publicly petitioned the Ministry of Defense to excuse them from service in the occupied territories. ברצועה, הטרור היהודי הוא לא פחות מסוכן מאשר הטרור הערבי, יש לכם עוד סיבה שצריך לשרת שם. כדי שלא יעמוד נבל, קצין בצה"ל, חבר ארגון מחתרת, על יד החבלן הדרוזי, וייתן לו לפרק את המטען ויקצץ את רועי באורנה. A network of Jewish settlers had joined together to use terrorism to crush Palestinians' violent resistance to the occupation. This Jewish underground murdered students at Hebron College, planted explosives on Arab passenger buses, plotted to blow up the Dome of the Rock Shrine in Jerusalem, and bombed West Bank Palestinian mayors, including Nablus Mayor Bassam Shaka. Who killed the man, in, the student in Alapta? Who killed tens of 
our people in Hebron and Danatha and Tulkaim and everywhere who demolished the houses, who confiscated the lands and who are building the settlement. It's the policy of the Israeli government and it should be responsible for all these actions. And I offer him to leave the country. I give him a letter that I'm going to quote it. This is the land of God. You have nothing to do in it. Leave it before you bring on yourself a tragedy. I explain you that if he's going to stay here, he's going to suffer. If he's going, if he wants to avoid more suffering for his poor people, he had to leave. We say that the God of Israel is the God of revenge. It's not a question of violence, just violence. But if somebody hurt a Jewish man, he's hurting uh, God because we are the chosen people. This is the desecration of the name of God if you don't take revenge. I, with my own eyes, I have seen very characteristic picture when I uh, went to visit some of my clients. I have seen how the terrorists were led to the, to the court and how they embraced the policemen, how the policemen greeted them. 27 Jewish terrorists were convicted. Several received life sentences. The rest were given remarkably short sentences. Visitors were permitted to picnic in their special prison courtyard. Palestinians detained without charge had very different treatment. When I entered the hospital, my husband was very sick and I entered the hospital in a difficult situation. I moved to the police officer to make sure I was going to be able to visit my husband for one hour. Although the court of the court refused that, and I considered this as a non-legal thing and as a non-legal thing. And so, I didn't get to see my husband, who was suffering from the death of the death. Mr. Meani was not allowed to see his very ill father. At the same time, the uh, members of this terrorist uh, Jewish uh, organization were allowed even to attend Brit Milah and other festivities in their families. Within two years of sentencing, most of the convicted Jewish underground members have been released early, some receiving presidential clemency and several have been granted renewed gun permits for self-defense at their West Bank homes. A campaign continues for the pardon of those who had received life sentences for murder. All of the underground members, without exception, have been granted temporary releases for family festivities. I was confronted with my clients, Arabs, from the territories who were imprisoned in Moscow, and they told me how they were beaten and tortured during their investigation. So two different worlds. All this camp, almost all the entrances were uh, blocked and sealed up. All the main entrances for cars, because of the claim that the youngsters are throwing stones and uh, it is disturbing public order. Over a number of years, Felicia Lango worked closely with the Dahisha refugee camp leaders, representing them in legal actions involving Jewish settlers and the Israeli army. She says one of the camp leaders was victimized. So after uh, such a very long struggle, some entrances were opened. So maybe that they are breathing more. But Hassan is the victim, and Hassan was expelled uh, upon a secret material and almost without any possibility to, def to, de to defend himself. Hassan Faraja, trade unionist, accused of political subversive activities, alleged local leader of the Habash guerrilla group. He was expelled to Jordan. I received a solemn promise day before the expulsion that they will be granted. Hassan Farage and others to have a last visit of, with their families. Even for murderers it is granted their last wish. And the next day, in the very morning of the expulsion, but I didn't know that the expulsion will occur, will occur on Friday, I am telephoning to the prison and they are saying to me, there is nobody to visit anymore. I only wanted to ask how many people, how many, how many persons are allowed to come from each family. And I was told, nobody is uh, here to visit anymore. I'm 
She sang, my dear, my sweet, my brother, my doctor. Let him come. حسن كل الحدا حسن كل الناس الكويسين حرام يبعدوا حرام يسجلوا دار حرام حرام يعجوا دار حسن حسن كويس كل الناس الكويسين بيحبوه حرام يبعدوا كل الزلاد عني موتوني حرام 14 سنة قلت الله أشوفك وأنا طبعا عارف بكوا عرس حسن يجيبوا لي كل شيء يجوني ببلاش عرس حسن يوديني على المكاسر يوديني على المطر يوديني للدكتور لا He was taking her to a doctor. He was taking her to the hospital. He was comforting her all the time. She's 14 years It's not a shame. Not a shame. What can we add? What can we speak more than, than what she said about his about her son? I was his lawyer. I have never seen her because she cannot move. For the first time I have seen her now. Maybe that she doesn't understand what does it mean to be a lawyer of somebody and to have somebody expelled as, as he was expelled. As a Jew, I am ashamed. I, it speaks for itself. I don't think that we have to add something at all. يا ابن الجعة وطننا يا ابن أبي الموت موت جاهد إحنا نكبر إحنا إحنا نشرح الاحتلال إحنا نشرح السجن إحنا نشرح النفي النفي أول وثاني وذات هناك هناك أنا أول مرة رحت هناك أبغى نعمل يوم رحت على مستشعر not to do something is such an injustice to live with it is something unbearable for me. I cannot survive and live in this country uh, in front of this terrible injustice and violation of human rights and occupied territories. In 1967, I decided that I shall dedicate whatever I have, all my skills and all what I have, in order to defend those who are the victims of the occupation. I feel that I'm building a sort of bridge between our two peoples over the abyss of, of, of hatred which is caused by this uh, terrible, terrible injustice caused by the occupation. Jews hate you, some of them. Uh, yes, very well that you really qualified it, some of them. May, maybe many of them, but still, during the last years, I feel that I'm supported more by those who understood now, as maybe you have heard from others, that there is no other solution but to recognize the legitimate Palestinian rights and that the Palestinians are struggling for their own liberty. And uh, therefore, I don't feel so much isolated as it was uh, before, but still I am uh, in danger. I have to have a bodyguard. The, my life is not, is not easy, but still I don't feel that I am a victim. I am defending victims. I think uh, it's going to take at least 20 to 30, 40 years if we are becoming very, very successful regarding to India with Gandhi, 
or Martin Luther King in the United States. Like if we will call for an action, we will have around 50, 60,000 Palestinian move. And that need a lot of uh, training, a lot of education, a lot of sacrifice. But slowly, slowly people have to learn what, how to do things. Within sight of modern Jerusalem, Arab villages in an arid region of the West Bank are compelled to live in primitive conditions. The problem here is the water. Uh, the people of Abidi is about 6,000, and the military authorities in Bethlehem uh, refused to give him the permit to get the water. The Abidi people uh, depend to collect uh, water from uh, the rain uh, and to make uh, some channels in the streets to collect the water in the holes, but uh, that uh, quantity of water is not enough. They must put Thanks water from uh, Bethlehem city, and that is cost. Uh, it is very expensive. يعني بدل ما يشتري مول له الأولاده بيشتري فيها مية مشان يسقيهم مش حتى يتنظفوا ويستعمل شغلات ثانية. نهيك عن المزروعات اللي كمان ما في مية نقدر نرويها. والمية هاي ثبت إنها ملوثة وغير. صارحة يعني اشتراك كامل معنا عشان نجيب مية واللي اجوا عنا عارفين انه ايش عملنا من سوي احنا وهي الطريقة انه الواحد ما يخاف المية ما هي نحن نشر فيها من الشارع انا واحد لازم يأخذوا ارضي لازم اخذوا مرتوضة حتى اللي ما طلب بس المية اللي بنشر فيها والله من الشارع من تحت طريق السيارة ورفضت جميعها بحجة عدم التعاون أهالي القرية واللجنة المشرفة على القرية مع روابط القرى وتصديهم للجهات التي تنوي إقامة مستوطنة رماد كدرون بطريق الغش والتزوير على أراضي القرية. رايحين عشان نروح. For every action we will have, we involve one Israeli group, and mostly the Israelis who are understanding our struggle as Palestinian and are interested in having coexistence with Palestinian and be able to help us in a Palestinian state. Okay. And they could bring and educate the Israelis that there are Palestinians who are interested in non-violence. I am one of the Palestinians who suffered a lot. My father died in 1948 during the war of independence or the first Arab-Israeli war. We buried him inside the house. Our house and our property have been in no man's land. We have to leave our house to come to the old city of Jerusalem. We were seven children and my mother, and we were all put in uh, orphanages. And to live in an orphanage away from your family with, with losing everything, this is a lot of suffering. After the 67 war, Israeli authorities accused Mubarak Awad of illegal political activity and forced him to leave the West Bank. Years later, Mubarak has returned to Jerusalem with U.S. citizenship, all the more dedicated to Palestinians and the non-violent way. Can I help you? Yeah, I have the farmer of this came to me, and he told me that you put this fence around his uh, land, and he feels that you, you are interested in taking his land. No so, way. Then why you put the fence? He still has free accesses. This does not belong to us. No, no, no. He said that you would refuse him to come, and he, how he want to come with the car. Where, from which part he want to come from the car. Why does he want to come in with a car? It's his land. He want to plant it, his land. With a car? Whatever he wants, it's his land. If, and if he wants access, no, I am the secretary of this yeshuv here. So who are you, may I ask? I am, uh, my name is Mubarak Awad. I have a center of the Palestinian Center for the Study of Nonviolence. This was put up here after yeah. one of the local residents was murdered by the local Arab residents. It's, okay. Then but this was not started, if, this was started legally. If, if that was, was because of a murder, you don't come and take a land. It was not taken. It was not taken. Uh, well, it was not that's, taken. That's where the issue and that's where the problem is. There are two types of lands. This type of land belonged to the Jordanian government, which is now being used by us. Any land that belongs to a private Arab individual will always belong to that private Arab individual if he has documentation. 
he has documentation. Why do you, as an American, choose to live here of all places? I mean, if you want to live in Israel, why don't you go and settle in the Galil or the Negative, where there are less problems and people want you there, instead of coming to an area where the, most people around you don't want you? There are people that say that area doesn't belong to the Jews either, so to me it didn't matter where I go to live. You don't see any difference between the West Bank and the Galilee or the Negev? I like the desert. So live in the Negev? I don't like that much desert. But what right do you have to be here? This is other people's land, surely. It's another people that was living here. You're American. You're not even born here. No, I'm Jewish. My ancestry goes back as long as theirs does. And I believe that the land was given to the Jewish people. And that's By it. whom? By whom? I also happen to believe in someone called God. The land may be God-given, but the settlers use force to hold on to it, and often without any intervention on the part of the Israeli army. Such violence poses a serious challenge to Mubarak's path of peaceful confrontation. Even if it's dangerous here, they are not monsters. And so a level to level, an eye level with the Israeli would make us even stronger to confront them. Mubarak Awad is also confronted by the Palestinian rejectionists who have claimed as their victims over the years a number of moderate Palestinian nationalist leaders. Some of the 600 Palestinian terrorists recently set free by Israel in an exchange for a handful of Israeli prisoners of war. These men, mostly from the PLO's rejectionist wing, were allowed to return to their homes in the West Bank. A few months later, the moderate Palestinian mayor of Nablus was assassinated, his murder claimed by hardline rejectionists. Terror, terror is the weapon of the weak, of the desperate people and the overwhelming majority of Palestinian people, after 50 years of conflict, wars, and bloodshed, they, they want to live in peace, in dignity. Many people point to the assassination, claiming that every moderate Palestinian is being killed. But the truth is that they are being killed because they are not marginal, because they reflect the, the uh, very dynamic uh, aspiration of the majority of the Palestinian people. And the assassination does not kill their ideas. So the, all the Palestinians are PLO. This doesn't mean that they agree with all the tactics and strategies, but they want to be a sovereign, independent people. You say it's your land. Of course. Come on, let's, come on, let's discuss it. But the Jewish settlers oppose genuine dialogue. They blockade access to a planned public meeting in Hebron between Palestinian moderates and Israeli doves, including member of the Israeli parliament, Shulamit Aloni. How Jewish people are behaving. They say it's their land and they behave like aliens, like conquerors. While the Israeli doves are prevented from reaching Hebron for talks with Palestinians, the Jewish settlers, who recently moved into this Jewish residence in the heart of the Arab city, benefit from heavy Israeli army protection. The Arab shops, which have been in the rear of this Jewish-owned building for decades, are now fenced in, and all potential customers face a rigorous ID check and body search. היה בה מעט מאוד אנשים, וגם הערבים היו בה מעט מאוד. באו הנה איכרים שוחרי שלום והתיישבו וקנו אדמות והתיישבו ופיתחו את הארץ מבחינה כלכלית ומבחינה תרבותית. בואו בוא נראה פה את בית הדסה בחברון, שהיה בית חולים ששירת גם ערבים וגם יהודים ללא כל תשלום. ובו בבית הזה אירע פוגרום בשנת 1929, ובו נרצחו יהודים. בואו נכיר בעובדה הזאת, שיש לנו פה בעיה של אלימות רצופה מצד הערבים נגד היהודים. אנחנו צריכים להתמודד איתה, לא, לא נרתע ממנה, וזה ברור שאני, זה מה שרציתי לומר קודם. ודאי שלא השטחים הם המפתח לביטחוני, הם המפתח היחידי לביטחוננו, אבל הם מפתח חשוב. לא בא פה להיות דובר של הצד הערבי ולהגיד להם, מגיע להם פרס, הם רוצים שלום, הם נחמדים. 
וכולי וכולי. אני יודע שאנחנו נמצאים פה במצב מלחמה. השאלה היא, לטובת מה אנחנו לוקחים את הסיכון? בימית נלחמתם נגד חוזה השלום בעד ארץ ישראל. בגלל שחשבתם... שזה לא שלום? שלהחזיק, וזה, וזה, זה לא, לא רק שלום. בגלל שחשבתם שזה לא שלום, אלא אפילו תמורת שלום אתם לא מוכנים לעשות את הצעד נכון, הזה. זה נכון, כי זאת התמוטטות ערכים, זה מה שאמרתי. לא, אמרתי. אז אני חושב שאתם משקפים את התמוטטות הערכים בהחלטה שלכם. אתם פה. גם, אני שואף לשלום לא פחות ממך, אבל השאלה היא איך להשיג את זה, על ידי חולשה? המציאות במזרח התיכון שעל ידי חולשה, אתה לא מביא שלום. The settlers' uh, main goal is to be majority in the city and to have the command on the center. So this can't be done unless the city is evacuated from the Arab families. <laughs> The soldiers search the, uh, the shops every day and they search the clothes of the merchants and their shoes even. Several times, if he leave the shop and return, they will search again and again. So this is the way of harassment of the soldiers. Uh, the governor didn't find a legal way to uh, dismiss the merchants from their shops. And they refuse to leave their shops because it is uh, the main source of their income. We have to get a lot of people together to feel strongly together and fight together for a cause. Maybe it's a small cause, but we need a lot of people to be joined together for an action. And this action would be a different thing. <laughs> the people there, they uh, are in a mood of giving up, and when they saw us that there will be encouragement, then they say, okay, we, we will stay there, we will continue the struggle there, we would not give up uh, our shops or our rights. Actually, this is a Jewish property, Jewish house, and it's not the best uh, marketplace in this town. So I believe that uh, they will leave. After all, this uh, hush will calm down. There is no equality between Palestinian Arabs and uh, Israeli Jews. There is an occupier and an occupied. Uh, there is an oppressor and an oppressed. There are people who are claiming all power and authority and others who are desperately clinging 
for remnants of their homeland. In a thousand years, he can't forgive me for what happened in 48. We destroyed their pride, their honor. We took part of their lands. We made them flee. Revenge is in their blood. I put myself in this place, I don't know if I'd be any better. Probably because I was born here, several generations here. We know them. What did the Arab boys shout at me? La del Mita, which means children of debt. It is so-called Palestinians. The only person in the Middle East who historically right demands this area are the Syrians. It's part of greater Syria. Yet mutual respect is viable. On the Jewish tree planting festival, a group of Israeli Jews and Palestinians with international support sets off to plant trees beside a remote West Bank village. If this were considered a political demonstration, it would be illegal without a permit from the military government. Like any other conquering army, although in the 20th year of occupation, the Israel Defense Force will not countenance political activities in the territories. This whole valley used to be practically a forest of olive trees just a couple of weeks ago. This is not a political demonstration. We are guests of Palestinian farmers. We are going to plant some olive trees to replace those that were uprooted by others. The trees are going to be planted in private property belonging to Palestinian farmers, not government property. If you get arrested or interrogated, you must remember what your rights are even in the West Bank. The villages of Kitana say they planted the olive trees more than 30 years ago. Yet suddenly, several weeks ago, the Israel Land Authority uprooted over a thousand trees. Now the authorities return to prevent the announced replanting. The only thing, if they come to talk to us while we are planting, we simply say, peace, peace to you, shalom. And if they try to pull us physically away from the trees, we will sit down. We are more in number than they are. If they carry one of us off to the car, the other person will come back from the car. Uh, excuse me. The owner of the land has an important thing. He says dig where the old trees used to be to plant them. Otherwise, you will be destroying uh, some plants. And this is why we said at the beginning, you have to plant at the direction of the landowner. I that פשוט אנשים יעצרו, ולא חשוב מי הם, אם הם יהיו ישראלים, אנשי אגדה, פלסטינאים, יתבעו לדין על השגת גבול, חבל פשוט. אני לא חושב שזה טוב לכם ולנו. יש איזה צו, יש איזה משהו שלפיו אתה... שהלכו ועקרו. זה לא לעקור עץ זית פה ושם, לעקרו כאן אלף זיתים, והעניין נבדק באלף בדיקות. זה הגיע לפסים די בכירים. government put marks on, on rocks in order to make people think that they are, they are their land. Then they have to make roads. Then they build settlements and villages for themselves. אני יכול לבשר לך שאין פה שום תוכנית להתנחלות. אז למה דווקא מפריע לכם שיש עצי זית במקום אדמה ריקה? כי עצם הנטיעה של הזיתים זה לשם, למטרה מסוימת, להחזיק את הקרקע, ואנחנו לא ניתן בכוח לקחת קרקע. למי יש הרובים? הרובים זה נשק אישי של המשטרה, של החיילים, להגנה עצמית, אף אחד לא בא עם הרובים לתקוף. נפצעו חיילים, נפצעו שוטרים, על ידי התקהלות של אנשים וזריקת אבנים. 
هون ممنوع هلا يلا روحوا يلا روحوا هون ممنوع حكيت مع محامي يا بنتي يا بنت حكيت مع محامي هون ممنوع روحوا روحوا جوا يلا يلا يسجنوا الثاني بيزرع مش المحامي مش المحامي بس 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 المحامي بيقول المحامي بيحكي على هوا If you have some claim, mm -hmm. there is a courthouse in Israel, you can claim, you can sue us. Excuse and me, but you are in the West Bank now, not in Israel. The land in question is either clearly in the West Bank or in no man's land. The Israeli line is way further down. I'll be willing to come and show it to you if you like. And I will show you the last Jordanian outpost, military outpost, which is much further down than here. We are talking here about private Arab Palestinian land for which I have seen the documents. If you are claiming All otherwise... All the no land mm -hmm. have been expropriated. When? And, sir, sir, just a second. Mm -hmm. And have been registered as a registered block on the name of the apotropos of a missing person. The legal issue of whose land this is may be resolved in the courts. But for today, vastly outnumbered by the tree planters, the authorities abandon mass arrests in favor of a compromise. The trees that are now in place will stay in place. The Green Patrol, Nature Protection Society, Israel Lands Authority and the soldiers will also leave the land. We will all start moving towards the village. This is by uh, order of Major Amir from the Ramallah military government. Apparently they recognize this West Bank, but I don't know. The facts will remain that this is an olive orchard. That's very successful for the Palestinians, that they could see they could confront the Israeli without throwing stones. Being under occupation is bad for the Palestinian, but also is bad for the Israelis. The problem cannot be solved by the Palestinians themselves. And the problem cannot be solved by the Arab world itself. So if, if the problem of the Palestinian Israeli problem have to be solved, it by working both together. The next day, the authorities reneged on the deal and uprooted the trees. But now there is a continuation visitation between Israelis and farmers. It's like a support system. Oh, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take 10, 15 years. And uh, there is... Uh, the chance is very, very slim. <laughs> Mubarak Awad walks a delicate path. Whatever his personal feelings about violent tactics, he will not repudiate the PLO's role in the Palestinian struggle. Yet he is offering to Palestinians a non-violent approach, which he feels can succeed where violence has failed them. There is a feeling of 
feeling in a year time. You don't know what will happen really. מיליונים של בני אדם בכל המדינות, בכל התרבויות, בכל החברות, בכל התקופות בהיסטוריה. משמע שהיא גבורה זולה מאוד, הדבר הזה צריך לומר בכל האכזריות. גם האנשים נחותים מסוגלים להיות גיבורי מלחמה. הבעיה האיומה והנוראה שלנו היא שבעקבות היסטוריה ארוכה מאוד מאוד, אשר לא ניתן לשנותה ולא ניתן לתקנה. יש בארץ הזאת שני ימים, אשר כל אחד מהם מודע בעמקי נשמתו שהארץ הזאת היא ארצו. הדבר הזה יביא למלחמה עד חורמה במדינת ישראל והעולם הערבי. ייתכן שבסופו של דבר כל העולם הערבי, ממרוקו ועד קובייט. האלטרנטיבה לדבר הזה היא רק אחת. זה חלוקת הארץ בין שני ימים. זאת ללא כל קשר, כל הלהג העלילי על זכויות, על זכויות היסטוריות וכו' וכו'. אין לשום עם שום זכות על שום ארץ. אין לשום עם שום זכות על